Okay, we are going to build a 45 degree angle lead. And there's a few things that you're going to want to know on how to do these to make them look right. And there's some advantages of doing this over the traditional way of doing it where you cut a you cut two of the column blocks in half and put them on an angle. There's some huge advantages to doing it this way and it still looks pretty good. If you haven't seen our part one on this this series of this block wall, then go ahead and click the link. I'll have it pop up right now. Hit that link and go back to video number one and you can watch the entire series. It'll also be in the playlist. So I'm going to build a playlist that will have this entire block wall series. So you can watch just that section if you'd like. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to take this block, this H block, and I'm going to cut about a half of an inch off right here, and about a half inch off right here. That way that block, this block over here, can slide right in there and have enough, this, nipping this off will make it so it'll fit in there on an angle. Cutting an angle on all these blocks so that it'll fit on this 45 right there. So I'll put a slight bevel on the one side on the inside corner so it'll slide in there real nicely. So once you get your block trimmed in just right, then you measure this part, and I've got an inch and three eighths. This side is an inch and a half, but it's also tight. So I'm gonna go inch and three eighths on both sides. That way I can replicate this block, cut a whole bunch of them the same size. Okay, we got this 45 column here. Cut these angles on it on both ends. It doesn't need to be cut on the outside, just the inside corner. These are two and a half inch finished nails. You can buy them at a local hardware store. That's what we're going to use for our double lead 45 degree. So we've got a wall going on a 45 degree angle on that way and that way. Technically it's a 22 and a half degree angle. But so we build a single column like this. And then we just stab these nails in. Okay, so you stab your nails in like that. Push down so that that nails to the top of this block. Shove it in far enough that when it dries, it'll hold good. Put your other one in like that. If you go back in on when it's on an angle, if you go back in too far, your block will hit here before you can get to the string. So put it about the center. Okay, 
another huge advantage of doing a single column a lot of people will take the take their H block and they'll do a column with two H blocks and just cut them on a 22 and a half right here and then just till them twist them sideways the reason I don't like to do that is because if you have a joint right here in the middle of your column right here and you have another joint here then what happens is you will get when you go to grout this thing you will get pressure pushing pushing both ways on your joint so your your joint 90 percent of the time will crack right down there when you grout it i'd almost say 99 percent of the time that thing will have a little hairline crack even if the mortar is totally dry when you pour it'll just do it so this is why i do these columns like this it's faster and still looks good this is the inside edge you just try to keep these all the same and it looks as consistent as factory you know this side's fatter this side's thinner but but it's still it, if you can keep that thing consistent then you're good to, you're good to go Okay, our next video is going to be on gate entry. We're going to do a gate entry on both sides of this house. We're only going to film one of them. We're going to show you how to eliminate uh, your grout pushing over your corner blocks and, and your A blocks. So we'll show you the process of that in our next video. So hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, so you don't miss out on it and any other future videos that we'll be adding. Thanks for watching.